Hey guys, today we're gonna do a little more casting. We're gonna use the epoxy resin again. And what I'm gonna do is cast two blanks. And the reason I'm doing this is I've been using this epoxy resin, the liquid diamonds, uh, quite a bit the last few weeks. And I wanna see how it works in adhering to wood in two ways that I really like to do, the choya cactus and the worthless wood where you mix a burl or a wooden uh, void with the resin. So what I'm gonna do is real simple. I'm gonna mix up three cups, a clear, a blue, and a brown, and I'm just gonna be really lightly tinting them because in this particular one, I wanna be able to see the, the uh, transparency through the colors. This one, I'll add a little more blue to it and mix it a little darker, and that way it's more solid. And then I will put them in the pressure pot and let them cure overnight. I pulled the blanks out of the pot, they sat overnight. Uh, I think it was about six when I poured these last night and I pulled them at seven this morning. So they've sat for over 12 hours, 13 hours. Uh, they look good, the only issue is my wood floated a little bit, which I didn't think it would, but I should have thought about it because it wasn't super tight. So it floated and the resin went all the way around the blank, but it's still thick enough that I can make a pen out of it, which it, which is what I am after. It's probably mm, between an eighth and a quarter drop down because the wood floated up. Now, where the resin is on the wood, it looks really cool, so that might actually work to my advantage. And the Choya blank stayed in place and it looks like it covered really nice, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a pen out of that. So what I'm gonna do next, make pens out of these two and one other which I didn't talk about in the beginning of the video but I wanted to show as much as I could with this because it's kind of a new thing for for me with the pen making I've only used it in the one other video uh, although I have done a lot of tube in casting the last couple weeks with it for labels and paintings and things like that I wanted to try a watch part so I went ahead and cast this watch part blank that I had ready and I did not put it in the pressure pot because the pressure pot was already used and from what I can see here, I don't see any bubbles. Now, once I turn it, you know, I'll give you a better uh, idea if there is any, but from what I can tell right now, it looks pretty awesome. So my main concern with the watch part is I wanna make sure that it adheres to the carbon fiber and doesn't separate and create pockets and that ugly look like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn three pens out of these three things, and then I'll be back to talk about the results. Well, I finished up the three pens I was working on today and I continue to really like this liquid diamond. So if you're sick of hearing it, I'm sorry, but I haven't found any negatives yet. Well, one negative, the price. Um, but as far as what I've cast with it, I've probably made 50 or 60 pens over the last couple weeks and I haven't had any issues. Um, so I'm really, I'm really okay with the price when I get quality like that, so it's worked out really nice. Now as far as the three things that I was doing today, um, I'll start with the Choya. It, it blended really nicely. The resin seemed to really adhere to the cactus well. Now typically I cast my Choya in a vertical mold uh, with Alumalite, and the results are very similar. So would I use the Liquid Diamonds for this over the Illumilite, I'd probably do it based on cost because I think the results are pretty much the same. Um, I don't think one polish is better than the other when colored with the wood, so I would I would pick the cost saving one on that. The hybrid, uh, kind of the same result. It seemed to really adhere to the wood nice. Now I just had this piece that I used 
uh, because it was stabilized and it had a void in it. So it's not the like coolest void, but it actually created a nice look. It's hard to take a picture of this one because it's so dark. And then I paired it up with a black cigar kit. But the colors worked really well. It, it blended nicely with the wood. It polished well with the wood. What I did was uh, I micro meshed it. Then I put a plastic polish. I tried to just do it on the plastic. Then I, then I polished it with a cloth and put a Pens Plus finish over the wood. And some got on the plastic, but it didn't change the look at all and it looked fine. So uh, there again, would I use the Liquid Diamonds for this? I would probably pick this or a Lumalite and I would use the one that was less expensive or I guess the one that I had in stock if I, if I only had one. Uh, now here's where I think the Liquid Diamond shines, the tube on casting. Um, I in the past made a lot of watch part pens with Alumalite and I had terrible luck. A couple of things would happen is the Alumalite would react with the CA sometimes but not all the time which was very frustrating. and. I couldn't get the finish as clear and as shiny as I wanted because I think these need to be really shiny. And that's why I've always used polyester resin. But so far, like I said, the 50 or 60 things I've cast with this, I'm loving the finish. And talking to the people that make this product, this resin shouldn't yellow over time like other resins do. Um, they're very cool the way they talk about the resin. They really seem to know their stuff. And I think this will provide a long lasting clear finish, which only time will tell. But this is my choice for the liquid diamonds is stuff like this. And when you're making stuff like this, you can kind of justify the cost a little more because usually these fetch a little better price or they're a little nicer product. So to me, probably the number one use for the liquid diamonds is the tube in clear casting. It'll work for these others just fine, but it's there again, it's a price thing. So. Do some research on what you want to do, and I don't think you'll be upset with any of these results, but that's just my opinion, so hopefully it helps you out when you're uh, looking around. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up, any comments or questions, put them below. I try to answer as much as I can, uh, and we'll see you next time.